Hello everyone, General Scar here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do basic bot movement for bot events in Blockland. Uh, so you could do something like this. Remove some brick to brick, and returns to the spawn where he spawned. Now he's missing a foot here, and I don't really know why. I might have overrided it with this event here. Uh, yeah. That's what happened. So, anyway, let's just get started. See the spawn. We clear bricks here so I can get a bunch of extra named bricks. Uh, we're going to be spawning a standard bot. Now, this is all with bot events, which is an add on that you're going to have to download. The link to that will be in the description. And now we have your standard bot event. Standard bot, not bot event. Uh, if you see, he's all white, and this will happen from time to time, but to change this and get him to look like he should, just hit respawn. Now, if you want him to look like a certain character, or look a certain way, you can go to your avatar options and change the way you look. And so I look like this now. And then if you type slash apply AV, and then you go back to your to the spawn and hit respawn it will change the bot now it didn't change the face for some reason there's some weird glitch with the faces and decals not really decals but mostly the faces going on that I don't know what's happening I don't have any extra faces or anything but anyway it'll look like the what you just are wearing now this works for the last um, bot spawn or vehicle spawn that you used your wrench on so as you see he turned white again, this will happen from time to time just hit respawn. Now if you check your events, you're gonna see all of these here, which is all the events for him. You can change these manually and add them all manually if you want, but it's a lot faster if you just use the apply AV, which is, stands for apply avatar, so it's just a lot faster than having to change all of these yourself. Now you're going to want to do this absolutely, you're gonna do this first because if you do it after you've set all of the events, all your events will disappear and you'll have to re-event them. So, let's go with movement. So, on bot activated, right here. There's a bunch of other uh, bot settings here, which is, are pretty self-explanatory, so I probably shouldn't have to go into too much detail with them. The most you're going to be using, I would think, is on bot touch, touched, spawn and activated. So after this we're going to choose bot here because that's what we want to use and we're going to set bot movement since we're working with movement right now. Now there's a bunch of options which you can change uh, for following a player, going to a brick, stopping, wander, all this stuff. Stopping, he stops. Go to brick, he moves to a named brick. Follow player, he follows the player that last activated him, which would mean clicking on him. This one means he wanders, just like runs around within a certain area, which is the radius thing. Turn to spawn is where he goes back to the spawn. Go to player aim. I'm um, not quite sure what that one does. Vector, he runs in a certain direction and might stop running, might not, I don't really know, but that's just... I don't know what... Uh, I know what a vector is, but it's kinda hard to uh, figure out which numbers do what for the vector. Uh, so, right now we're going to be using follow player. And right, you can check this for duration, and I think this also has is the amount of time for the duration. If we click on this, follow us kind of slowly um, does this change him running or anything yes I think he's he's running now so that box is run and this is the duration in seconds so I'm pretty sure so that's follow player wander he's just going to walk around all over the place You can set the radius for which he wanders. Turn to spawn. 
Where he just goes back to the spawn. And actually, I think go to player aim is where he goes where you're looking. Maybe. Yeah, he goes where you're looking when you activated him. So, those are those. And right now we're going to be using go to brick so I can do this. Get out some of these bricks here. So we'll just make him walk in a circle. And we'll make it a pretty small circle. Um... make sure it's a circle. Okay, so we'll just name this one B1 for brick 1, brick 2, brick 3, brick 4. Okay, now let's set up the events on bot touch, which is like on player touch but with bots. Bots and then move, set bot movement. Go to brick B2, and we'll have him run to this one. On bot touch, bot set bot movement, go to brick B3, also have him run on this one. Bot touch, bot set bot movement. Go to brick B4, and we'll have him not run for this one, and we'll have him just return to spawn for this one. On bot touch, bot set bot movement, return to spawn, and we'll have him run. So now we're going to have him run to brick one, or we'll walk to brick one, maybe. Is it run? Okay, he's going to walk to brick one, run to these two bricks here, and then walk all the way back. And now he's spinning around the spawn point. So if we switch this to brick, name this brick 5, and set bot movement to go to brick 5, B5, respawn, that should fix it. There, now he's in the middle of the spawn brick and facing sort of the right way, close enough. So that's basically bot movement for bot events. It's really simple and also how to change the way this bot character looks. So I will see you in the next bot events video.